So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create card templates for Trello. If you have tasks that you do on a regular basis, then having a template is going to make it much, much easier. So you can see, uh, say like under Thrive Hive Lead Magnets here, done. I've got, you see at the end of each um, list, there's a little box, a little card there. So if I click that, it would give me the option to create from template. If I didn't have any templates already created, it would tell me I needed to create a new template. But because I've just set up three, I've got three on the far left here, so newsletter templates, um, it allows me to choose from one of those or I can actually create a new template if I wanted to. So for instance, every week I send out a Thrive Hive bulletin. It just keeps people abreast of the latest news and any free resources that I've got, any free groups that I'm running, any fit clubs that I'm starting. And so I tend to follow a pretty similar routine. So I'm just going to show you what my template is. I've called it newsletter template. Um, I, I've got a couple of labels here because I want to denote it as a template with that color. But in my newsletter is called the Thrive Hive Bulletin. And so if I wanted to search for just my Thrive Hive Bulletins, I could do that by using um, the labels feature. I have got a video showing how to um, filter using labels. I'll add a link to that video here. Um, but I just like to keep on top of things. I might, I might over label, but I think over labeling is better than under labeling for me with my busy frantic brain and running more than one business at the same time. It, uh, it just helps me stay on top of things. So you can see here that I tend to, I type in my, in my, um, bulletin, I have a short piece of text, which has a link to either a high performing Instagram post that I've shared that week or one that really resonated with me or one that I know is going to add value to the people reading that particular article. I just I tend not to write too much. Um, it's more like it's a little brief introductory uh, few lines and then the link to the actual article itself. And then I tend, I might have a CTA, so click the button to download the resources or click the button to learn more or click the button to watch the video, In, for instance. I always have a Menopause Monday. I share that on a Monday on my Instagram and then onto my Facebook, it goes up onto my YouTube, et cetera. And I'm, at the moment, I'm, I'm sort of alternating links to my YouTube video or to the one that I upload on my IGTV. But again, that is something that I do every, uh, every week. So it just makes sense that I have the framework here. I always give something free. So whatever that might be, it might be the cookbook that I've shared for the month in my Fit Club. It could be a meal plan. It could be a blog post that's got um, healthy recipes or meal planning tips or some, it's got to have, value. it's got to be a value add. So this is my, you know, make sure I've got a value add that I'm giving. News from the Fittersphere, this is anything that's coming out new, any sample workouts I can share, any news that is going to be of interest to the readers of my Thrive Hive bulletin. And then I tend to end with a PS. So it's just like, oh, you know, PS, remember that such and such and such and such is happening next week, or uh, we've got our um, coach men mentorship group starting next week, if you want to learn you know, how to build a business from home, to get in touch, that sort of thing. Um, and that is the template that I use on every single Thrive Hive bulletin. Um, and so if I wanted, I, I can edit that. I can add extra items to it here or, or not. I could assign somebody to it. So if, if, for instance, I'm working on it with either a virtual assistant or a fellow team member, then I could add their name there. I can set a due date to it. Um, as a template, I wouldn't bother with the due date because it's it, this is this is a template. But for instance, if I wanted to copy that into another list, so say um, I wanted to copy into my Thrive Hive bulletins, so it's going to be this board and I want to put it into this list. It's going to be position 12, which is right at the end. I could change that if I wanted. I'm going to create card and just to show you. So now at the bottom of here, you'll see it's it's got that label template because I've when you copy it, you have the choice to use the labels or not. I just didn't delete the labels then. So if I click into that, I can then go and edit my labels. I can unclick that, which will get rid of that label. It is for the Thrive Hive Bulletin. And because it's no longer um, this actually isn't a template now because I've, I've moved it as into a card. I could make it a template, but don't actually need to. 
But if, for instance, I want this to be ready for next Monday, I tend to write my newsletters on Saturday or Sunday. So I could click the date, the 11th on Sunday, save that. And then that is then going to give me a due date. So when I look at that here, I can see it's got July the 11th there. When I've done it, I can check it off and then I can move it to a done pile if I wanted to. So um, I hope that sort of gives you a good idea of how to create a list. I'm gonna do another template now to show you how I built it. So I'm gonna click this little box here and it's going to say create from template. I don't want to use either of those. So I'm gonna create a new template. You have to give it a title. So I'm gonna say uh, daily healthy habits because lots of people ask me what my daily routine is. So, and it tells you here, this is a template card. I might want to add it, say, um, let's just click that one and I'm gonna edit it, uh, daily healthy habits template. Okay, and then, I, I could do a little text description here of what it's all about. I'm not really going to bother. Um, and I'm going to add a checklist. I could just type it out long form if I wanted, but that's just messy. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, let me get rid of. So I want to create a checklist because I think checklists are really helpful. And again, we just call it daily healthy habits. OK, so I'm going to be putting Number one, drink a pint of water. Two, deep breathe for three minutes. Three, um, drink turbo juice. Four, do workout. Five, get showered. Six would be um, drink recovery, um, shake. Seven, walk. Pets have a very slow cat and two dogs, and um, you know, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, prep healthy lunch. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I'm going all wrong. Lunch have uh, action hour. Uh, team, and then you know, and onwards, and onwards, and onwards, and onwards. So um, that would then I could assign somebody else to that if I wanted to. I could put a due date on it, um, and then and that's it. So I could now just click out of there, and so now I have got another card template. So that's my daily healthy habits. So if I wanted to sort of click this, uh, if I could put say, um, let me have a think. If I wanted to have this like as a, a card that I check off daily. Uh, let me just, I'm just going to make a new list here across the edge. Healthy habits tracker list. So this is where it's going to go. So I want now to move, I want to copy that card or to the newsletter board. It's this board. What did I call it? Healthy habits tracker. And don't we, I'm going to take the labels off. I'm going to keep the checklist. OK, it's so going to create the card. And you'll see now that this has come across here. And I could put a date. I could I, I could have it. Um, I could have a start date. I can have a due date. I can have a time if I want to. I could set a due date reminder up to two days before. And so it's just a really easy way of staying on top of what I'm doing. And so, you know, like today, I've done this, oops, that, and that, 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 that. See, I'm a, still about to do my healthy lunch. OK, so you can see. And then so that's all done then. And then I can either I can either uncheck them all for tomorrow if I wanted to, or I could um, copy that list and it's going to be here next and it's going to be a uh, healthy habits tracker position number two so it'll be underneath the one i've just done create card and so you can see in today's healthy habits you might you might want to stick a date on these um so that it keeps you on top of what you're doing but this one i haven't got any checked off but in in this one I have seven of the nine I've already checked off. So it's a really good way of sort of staying on top of what you want to achieve in your day, uh, in your work routine. I also have a daily work routine that I follow. It's a structure that I do on a daily basis to build my business. 
and I follow a checklist on that one as well. It's something that I, I tweak every now and again, but it is a checklist that I follow. And I just, every day, instead of creating a new date for it, I will just go into these and I'll just, oops, um, I can uncheck them. La 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 la, let me see. Um, just do that, you just uncheck them here. I thought there was a batch way of doing it actually. There may be, but I, I can't actually remember it off the top of my head. Um, and so again, I would do that again tomorrow. So that would be like my daily healthy habit. So I do it one day and then I come back in and I can continue again. But the great thing is it shows you how many of these you've checked off so it can keep you on top of what you're up to. So I hope that helps. Um, I, think, I think templates are incredibly helpful. Um, it's just something that, you know, if, if you're repeating the same behaviors on a daily basis, and particularly if you have a team that you want to share particular uh, processes with, create a template and then you, it is just brand, it's a fresh template for you to use every single day. So um, any, you know, if you've got any sort of further videos you want me to do on Trello, let me know. I've got a Trello series on YouTube. I'll link to it here for, so you get the whole playlist. Um, I am still going to be doing some more automations that you'll find helpful. That also that sort of like automates some of the processes within Trello. Um, but if you're new to Trello, watch the uh, basics Trello training. I'll give you a good overview of what you can do, and then uh, watch the shorter videos that sort of go into the sort of the more advanced uh, tasks in in more detail.